All right, welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we are building the mini aquaponic system.
right, this build is sponsored by Sansi LED lights. I have used their LEDs to light up our pole barn, to light up our greenhouse, to light up my garage. I have floodlights on the front and back of our house that are all from Sansi Tech. So there'll be a link in the description to check out some of their stuff. So thanks to Sansi for sponsoring this build. So we got our fish all put in here and we got a, a couple plants planted, some lettuce, some uh, black seeded Simpson, and we will see how well things grow. So let's go through a few of the details on the mini aquaponics system. So first of all, how does this thing work? So the fish in the bottom here actually create ammonia through their breathing as well as the, the, the fish waste that ends up in the tank here. Um, that gets uh, kind of diluted into the water in the fish tank here. And then the little mini pump pumps that water with it's filled with ammonia up into the grow bed. Um, I actually have this tube stu stuffed to the bottom of that tank and kind of on an angle. So it's circulating the water around the bottom of the tank and then that water rises up and then drains through the drain pipe in the middle and then back into the fish tank creating those air bubbles that you're hearing so you don't have to have an aerator or anything that helps to create air for the fish. That ammonia rich water soaks through these clay baked clay or hydrogen or hydrotin uh, these, these baked clay pebbles and uh, those are covered in bacteria that will grow and develop over the next uh, couple days and weeks and that bacteria will break that ammonia down into first nitrites and then into nitrates so two different kinds of bacteria that will grow in here um, and this acts as the filter so it takes that ammonia out of the water and turns it into nitrates which is a nitrogen fertilizer that is going to be used in uptake by an up uptaken by the uh, the lettuce. Uh, so the lettuce will use that to grow. Uh, it's great for leafy greens. They, they require a lot of nitrogen fertilizer. And so the only input is really our fish food. So as we add our fish food, and I'm using these small little granules here the, instead of the fish flakes, because the only way to feed the fish is through the little standpipe in the grow bed. And so we'll sprinkle those little, the little uh, uh, granules there and they, they fall right down into the fish tank. And uh, that's how we feed the fish. Now this input, the nutrients that's in here, of course, uh, provides some nutrients that the, that the fish don't eat or leftover food and things like that. That also will get broken down by bacteria. Uh, so the only inputs that we really have are light from our uh, Sansi Tech LED grow light and then the fish food that will add to the uh, tank uh, twice a day to feed the fish. Uh, right now we just have one fish in there. It's a, it's a small tank, a uh, smaller fish. You can put a couple in there, but this one, this one I think will we'll stick with one. So the whole system is kind of this perfect example of this closed, uh, closed loop sustainable system where uh, the fish uh, are creating creating the uh, waste and nutrients needed for the plants and the plants are in turn uh, cleaning the water for the fish. And so you have this, this constant cycle of, uh, of life, which is pretty cool. Um, so I've, I've been wanting to build a mini, you know, tabletop or, or bookshelf or desktop style aquaponic system for many years since, uh, since way back when I started this YouTube channel. Uh, and if you want to check out some of my older videos on more in-depth in aquaponic stuff, I had a huge aquaponic system that I built at our old home in the basement. I'll link to some of those playlists up in the uh, card system here on YouTube. This thing was designed and built all entirely from items that you can find on Amazon. Amazon, with the exception of the PVC pipe, you could buy on Amazon, but probably sourced locally is better. So the PVC fittings and pipe is super cheap. This is all half inch PVC, can of spray paint, um, and then the uh, tubing here as well. Again, I'll link to this on Amazon, but you could source this locally at a local hardware store. Uh, these fish tanks are uh, very inexpensive. The little pump is very inexpensive. And I also added a small LED light to the back of the system that just shines a little light through that little window that uh, we created when we made the system. We didn't paint that little clear spot in the back of the glass here, and that just lights up the fish tank a little bit better. The grow light itself, the Sansatec grow light, is uh, is perfect for this system. It's a perfect size. Uh, this would be great for supplemental light in your home for other types of uses as well. But it's a waterproof. This is all ceramic boards. They're they're really high quality. It's got a nice waterproof switch on the side, which I just zip tied to the side of the system, so we can turn that on. That will provide light for. Uh, for growing the plants. I also left this open with a couple options at the top here. I opened, uh, I left teas on the top so we can add a, 
taller bar on the top of the stand if I need to move that grow light up a little further. But uh, for, small, for some of our leafy greens and things like that, I think it'll be fine to just keep them growing uh, at this height. This is about six or eight inches above the top of the tank, and then we've got another two inches, two or three inches uh, of, of depth inside the tank. Put all the measurements for the system, the, the PVC pipe measurements and things like that, rough estimates in the description of this video, as well as links to all of the parts that we used here, the pump and the tanks and, and, and all that stuff, the light, uh, everything will be linked there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the mini aquaponic system build. Uh, it's exciting to have one of these finally running in the house. If you guys are interested in building one for yourself, of course, check the description for links to all the products. And don't forget to check out Sansa Tech if you're interested in any LED stuff. They've got uh, lots of cool and high quality LED things over at their site. And I thank them for sponsoring this build. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on the video as always. And of course, subscribe to the SSL Family Dad channel. If this is your first time here, we'd love to have you tag along for all kinds of DIY projects gardening, growing things, farming, raising animals, building things, fixing things, and whatever else we could possibly do out here on the farm. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.